Okay, everyone, welcome back to uh, Rezav Efrat, here at Shira David. Uh, David, thank you for your beautiful Tanya Shira we always have this year. And we always see the, the references of the Tanya Yaimi and I would leave with Yaimi here, Bo Hashem. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And uh, okay, we're in the Kuti Alokas, Hilkas uh, Tzitzis Bays, and today we're up to Gimel. All right, so uh, we, we're, we're pretty deep into this idea of the idea of the Maimer Sosim, right? This, 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 the concept of Maimer Sosim. And uh, we learned the concept of, of how, how <coughs> the Torah has this something up on high that, that, that is so high. A Kaddish Baruch who gives his covet down he bring, he can give his chiyas down in this world to things that are not holy, things that have no connection to holiness, but Hashem doesn't give it its covet, his covet. His covet doesn't go there. So the, he gives kaya but not covet. Kaya but not covet. Exactly. And so we learned we, before to understand this, it's connected to tzitzis, so we learned from the, from the tikkun Zayar that the word beresh itself <clears throat> is the word bara tayish. Bara tayish. So beresh is bara, beis reish, beis reish aleph. And then you have, and then you have the shin yud sav. So the zaya says you could switch the letters around to make the tough yud shin tayish, which is a seh. So what he's saying is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu already prepared that seh for the ayah seh la'ayla. For the Akedis Yitzchak was already prepared in the word Bereshis. But it was a, it's a Maimer Sosim, it's hidden. It's not, it wasn't revealed. So now we have an interesting idea. Gimel. Balkein mutali kaneis betzitzis lebeis hakisei. Interesting idea. So we're talking about how lofty the tzitzis are and how you can look at the tzitzis and you can remember all of the mitzvahs and you can look at the tzitzis, and you can and you can be mistakel on the tzitzis, and when you look at the tzitzis, you can, you can remember your tachlis. But it's an interesting thing. You can take you you don't take your tzitzis off when you go into the bathroom. That's the halacha. It's an interesting thing. They're so lofty, but you can, you, you you're allowed to bring them into a bathroom. You don't bring other things into a bathroom. Other things of kedusha you wouldn't bring into a bathroom, but tzitzis you can. Why? Let's find out. Is ruling everywhere. Hakadosh Baruch Hu has he gives the kayach, like we said a moment ago. He gives the kayach to everything. It's died directly from Hashem. The tzitzis we said is covered alien. Let's just review why is it covered alien? <laughs> because we said that the tzitzis is connected to the maimer sasam, which is the, like we just said, bara tayish, and and because tzitzis is so high, tzitzis is so high, it's connected on alien bechinas aye. And then we said any time a Jew gets in trouble and he finds himself in a place that he shouldn't be, but he he recognizes and he says, oi. Aye, he cries out, Aye. When he does that, he can kimamish connect to the highest place because he's connecting to the Maim Asasim when he says Aye, when he, when he comes to that place. And, and even, even when it, interesting thing to say, he says, the places. Of that that are that are that are that are that are unclean, the places that that are that are that are contrary to kedusha, that they're the opposite of kedusha. And that's how you can subdue them. That's how they can be put down. That's how the the, the, the evil forces can be put into check when we recognize that it's really a kodesh baruch See, they they want you to think. The things of impurity want you to think that they have their own, uh, they're, they're, they're in existence by themselves. But when you recognize it, wait a second, no, no, no. Hashem is giving you the ability to stay in existence. That itself sublu- subdues them. You understand the quality of this concept? Because when we recognize, when we recognize that all things of impurity 
as only existing because it's Hashem giving them the life force. That in its own way. That in its own way, that subdues them. <laughs> Unbelievable idea. That subdues them. Ki al yidei bechines tzitzis sheim zikorin. Tzitzis is a zikorin, like we said, right? Uh, as, as we say, so tzitzis is, a, is an idea of, of zikaron, remembering. The simon liskar ba'aboyri is baruch shemay to remember HaKadosh Baruch Hu. V'shegam b'mekoi maysanal. Maysheles malchuse is baruch. And even in these kind of places, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's malchus is there. Fascinating idea that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is really everywhere. We know it, we all we say it, right? Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is truly everywhere, right? But to understand that you, 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 that even in these places that we don't want to go to, we don't want to be involved with, but when we understand that Hashem is really wants it there, and we said, why? So then, so then why does Hashem want it there? Right? Remember, we, we spoke about it, right? Why does Hashem want these places? So that way, so that way he, we can have, we can have Bechira. Hashem wants us to have Bechira. Right? He wants us to have Bechira. The whole world was created that we have free choice. So if we don't have, if everything is all Kedusha in the world, there's no Bechira. It's like, it's like the Malachim have in Shemayim, right? There's no, there's no impurity. Everything is pure. Everything is holy. They, they can't do anything wrong. You can't choose. If there's no, you don't choose, there's no Schar, Schar Vereinish. And that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants, and that's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu designed the world in such a way that He will keep these things in existence for our sake, so we can have schar. Unbelievable. Even though they go against Hashem, they go against His very, his very will. Hashem's will is that His Malchusei Bechol Mashallah. And Hashem, is, it's all about the covenant. It's all about HaKadosh Baruch Hu's covet. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu's mevatel his covet to give kayak to these places to help us. Unbelievable. If, if, not, if not for the darkness, then we would not appreciate it. We would appreciate the light. If everything was light, you would never appreciate it. You wouldn't appreciate the light. Ki ein lohem chiyas elam imeni is Baruch because they only get their chiyas because of Hashem. Baal kein so we said yesterday that the tzitzis, we wear them on the four corners. Anywhere we turn, any direction we turn, we can cry out to HaKadosh Baruch, Hashem, I know it's you, I know it's you, and I know, and I know that, that, that no matter what's going on, it's you, you're running it. You're in charge of this. Whatever is going on. And I can cry out any time. Where is your glory, Hashem? I know your kayak is here. But where is your covenant, Hashem? That's what tzitzis is all about. And we said the whole idea of the Bereshis, Maim Asasim. <coughs> they really, HaKadosh Baruch Hu could have made the world with one Maimer. He didn't need ten Maimer. HaKadosh Baruch Hu could have said one Maimer, one thing, Bereshis, everything, all the Esam Amorim were included in the word Bereshis. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu did that in order to, that we can have Schar Vaynish. Nimsa. Shechayizrenu medabkin atzmam ba'etzam ha-kedusha misham ayam mekablem chiyus. So we could, we can, we can go back and we can connect them, sell everything. <laughs> from that place, from that place, in that place, that doesn't seem right. But that place is getting its chiyas from the rabbis. And that's how we can subdue them. That's how we can subdue them. Unbelievable. So anytime, you know, you know, Jews like, you know, they always like to do their, their hafkanot, right? And they, all the, the real thing is to cry out to all Hashem. That's all you have to do. Recognize in the play, these play, you just recognize, and that'll knock them all down. <laughs> Un- unreal. Because the whole chiyas comes from the high, the hiddenness of the kedusha. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's kedusha is hidden over there. Mamish, mamish, hidden, hidden, hidden. Like you were saying, you were learning before David, right? The, the Torah is so hidden, it's, it's all so high. It's Hashem's covenant, right? We have nothing to do with it, right? There's nothing to do with us down here. 
will take it to Shiyoidim, Shiyesham Kedusha. But when you recognize that even in this place, this Kedusha, Umechapsin Umevak, Umevakshin Aye, and I cry out in that place, Aye, oh, as I take it, Chazer and Ela Kedusha, Behem Nechnoyen. And then you could mamish bring the you could bring it back to kedusha, and they are subdued because you call them out. You call them out on it because you call them out on it. It's not you. It's Hakadosh Baruch Hu. B'zeu shemuva b'svarim aladin shemutali kanes betzitzis the beis hakisei. So that's why you can bring the tzitzis into the beis hakisei. Why can you bring it into the beis hakisei? Because the whole idea of the tzitzis is it's it's hella. It's, it's Nelam, it's, it's hidden, it's the Maimah Sosam, it's the Sets, the Beratias, the Taish, Bara Taish, the Tzitzis, yeah? it's, it's, it's the hidden thing. So that's why the Tzitzis is hidden, the same way Akkadosh Baruch Hu's covered hidden in these places. A bathroom is a place of a Makim Atanaf, all right? It's, it's, not a, it's not a clean place. But I can bring my tzitzis, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there also. It reminds me the very idea that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there also. In the Hakadosh Baruch, excuse me, is in the in the restroom. Hakadosh Baruch was found in there too. Two bechinas of Malchusay bechol mashala. Because Hakadosh Baruch was Malchus is bechol mashala. By the atzitzis shemisham nimshachias afilu lemekaymas. Even into these places, Baal kein mutali kaneis by em lisham, and therefore you can bring the tzitzis into the bathroom, into the restroom. There's no way you can't bring your tzitzis anywhere in the world. You can bring your tzitzis. You walk around the world anywhere where you get tzitzis. We don't, when we go to the base Be- alum, we yeah. go to the set, we put the tuck tzitzis in. in, we tuck them in because we don't want them to be mevaza, the maids, and the, the, the they don't have the mitzvahs. But, we, but you still wear your tzitzis. You don't, you don't leave them hanging out, right? True, that, right? Unbelievable. And that's how very way, that's the very way that we could subdue the things of, of unholiness in the world and bring our Kaddish Baruch who is covered back there, to bring his Kedusha back there. Mm-hmm. Interesting idea, right? The Tzitzis itself has no, there's no, there's no Kedusha in the, mitz, in the Tzitzis itself. Because it's of a different place. Ah, it's from it's, a different it's, place. It's, it's, tra- it's, 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 it's from the place of Helam. It's from the place of Helam. It's not of this world. The same way, look, let's say like this. Look, we said Bara Tayesh, right? I call this, but the, 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 the Seh was already, can, it was already in Voracious, right? A Seh, <laughs> you, you go see a little sheep on the street. There's no Kedusha in the sheep, but it's very holy. It could make it very holy. The tzitzis also is just some wolf from the sheep, right? Mm-hmm. It, what is it? But when you're done with them, you don't bury them. You don't bury the tzitzis. No, right. no, 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 no. You right. don't have to bury. You could, the beggar you could throw out. Right. The, a nice thing to do is what you I always do is when I have tzitzis that are you worn out, it. I cut the tzitzis off and I put it away with my with my lulav and everything. And I use it right. on our pesach. Like I burn it with the chametz. It's, it's a good oh, fire. You know, right. use it. <laughs> <Yeah, that's laughs> the huh? People throw them in the geniza for some reason. Also. I don't need you, to. Don't need you don't to. need to. There's no, there's no, 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 there's no, you don't, you don't need just, to. I put, I put it, I wrap it before I throw it. Like, you like, you know. Yeah, because, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Right to, like yeah. bread. Right. Like bread also. There's no, there's no kedusha in the bed, but you don't throw the bread out directly. You wrap it into something before you throw it out, right? The same idea. But you can also use it for a mitzvah. I'll just give you another idea. Yeah, I just, uh, what? I, 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 I just had the thought that, uh, not this, but what we so said before, is good. that's why we got the Arabs. If we didn't have the Arabs, we'd, we'd kill each other. I mean, you know, we, the darkness and the light. We need the darkness to appreciate the light. Okay. I, I just crazy. <laughs> Having the Arabs, it's like, it's, like, it's like being in a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, 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 right. Shem, you heard that, uh, Shem, wow, 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 wow. Al kein tzitzis hi mitzvah she'ein begufa kedusha ki heim bechinas mayim asasim. They're from the mayim asasim. They're from this hidden place. They're so holy. There's no holiness in them. <laughs> they're so holy that you, there's, there's no actual holiness in them. It's, it's, it's the holiness of this world. Of this world, right? Upon high, it's amazing. Right. 
Because we'll look by it says, by Yama, by the Tzitzis, we're in some Maisa, it's hot, and it's common, so it's with nothing else. We don't have anything else like that. To look at it and you remember all the mitzvahs. With nothing. We don't have any other mitzvah to look at something and it'll help jog my memory of everything else. It's a fascinating idea. No, I just, it's unbelievable how beautiful Tzitzis is. Uh, so should we do another letter? We have another, we have a little more time? What? Okay. So let's do Dalit. David, you have time? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, Dalit. So now back to the Allah. Back to the Allah. We know that really Tzitzis is a phenomenon. Because really we said that, that Tzemer is, is Chesed, Tzemer is Kedut, and Pishtim is, is um, Din, it's of, of impurity. So you really you can't take the two forces and put them together because they're two, <coughs> they're two opposite forces. You put them together, they explode. It, it doesn't work. But Tzitzis can be from Tzemer or Pishtim. Right? We said if Tzitzis, you can have a wool garment, you can have Pishtim, uh, 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 strings, <laughs> as long as Tcheles is there. If you have Tcheles, then you're allowed to do that, right? She says, Ika Tzitzis. Ki Ika Tzitzis, Heim Shel Tzemer, Shu Bechines Aya Asel So we know that, we understand that. Tzitzis is from the eye, Aya Asel Why is it Aya Asel Because we said, that's where our Kodesh Baruch Hu, it, 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 it's from the highest, the highest place, where our Kodesh Baruch Hu gives Gives his he gives the chiyus from to, to the world from the highest place. We said the other day also that you know the same way at tzaddik. A tzad, you know, you, 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 sometimes you need a very very big tzaddik in order to go into a to a place to fix a problem, right? The bigger the tzaddik, the the better the better that that, 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 that yeah yeah. There was a, there was a, a story that uh, uh, on that it was an amazing idea. What was the head of the go? I was just want to think. Was with Rabbi Grossman and, and Rabbi Riskin. You know this story? You ever hear the story of Rabbi Rogan? Rog, Rog? So, so this goes back mamish years and years ago. Where Rabbi Riskin was, Rabbi Grossman was, was staying in Manhattan with by Rabbi Riskin for Shabbos. He got a Shabbos over there by Lincoln Square. He had a big, okay. From, from, from Magdala, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he, 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 uh, he, he, it was Friday night. So Rabbi Grossman told Rabbi Riskin he wants to take a walk. What's the, uh, let's go for Shmitzia. Let's go for Shmitzia. So he said he was walking on, on, on the East Seven, on, on West 72nd Street, and it was a club. There was some kind of club or something going on in the club. <clears throat> and uh, he asked Rabbi Grossman, asked him, what is this? He says, oh, these are some, some uh, Jews, some, maybe some, some Russian Jews that don't really know anything. They, 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 they don't know, and they, they, they have a club. And they're, 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 he says, they're Jewish? He said, yeah, they're, they're Jewish. So Rabbi Grossman walked into the place. He jumped on a table and he screams out, Yoy, ma shi shi, ma yechum, ma Is that why they call him the disco rabbi? It could be. You know, he's called Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be. That's where the yeah, story came from. Oh, he's to go into place. Rabbi Riskin said he was like, he couldn't believe that he did that. <laughs> no, but you see, so you need a big tzaddik that can go into something and not be affected, right? So the higher the tzaddik is, the higher they goes, the lower they can go down without being affected. So to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's where it comes from, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is on the highest of the high, so HaKadosh Baruch Hu can descend to the lowest of the low, and it's all good. It all works out. Right? Makes sense? Yeah, also the bit. That's from that's connected to lesson. That's a le- connected to lesson Ches, which is also on Hanukkah in in, in the Kutei Maran. That's where you learn that idea. They also, they give the crafts. In, in Mitzrayim because we were so low, so yeah. we had a, we had to have a, the biggest rabbi. The biggest trat semayish rabbeinu. Yeah, to, to, to be able to go there into yeah. the place of impurity yeah. to be able to come out to not get to not get infected by the problem, because if if the, the tzaddik isn't so well insulated. And they go into the thing, they can get they can get damaged, right? All right, anyway. Okay, because Tzemer of the, the wool from the keves, from the sheep, from the little uh, the, the lambs is very, very high. But Pishtin is the opposite. 
Right? Pishtun is the opposite. Pishtun is Bechidus Madrega Tachtoi Nemiyoi. That's what Pishtun is, right? Semer is lofty, is gewalt, is great. And what is, what is Semer? Pishtun is the lowest. Kemaychei Kosa Bekayin. Shehevi Mina Gerua. Here we go back to Kayin. It all goes back to the beginning stories in Bereshis, right? Kayin brought his, his carbon. He, right, he brought his, uh, his, offering, his uh, offering to our Kodesh Baruch Hu. What did he bring? He brought it from the, from the, uh, from the, from the, from the, from the garbage, garua, from the, from the worst, uh, the, the worst merchandise. The high the pishtin, bechina zeh ba'atzmai nasa mi pishtin gam kain tzitzis, and that's why you can make it from you can make from pishtin you can make tzitzis. You allowed to do it. Why? Ki pishtin who madrega tachtoyne shemisham yunika sachid soynim bechina zkayin. Look at this saying. Kayin is from the chitzayinim. Look at this. <laughs> Kayin is the chitzayinim. The klipas that we said that the, that tzitzis is what is the is the is is malchus. Why is Tzitzis Malchus? Because the same way Malchus encompasses all of the Midas, Tzitzis covers our body, right? So the Klippas are trying to always attach themselves to the Tzitzis, to us, and so on, right? But in that low place, there's something very hard. It's enclosed in that high place, something very, very lovely. The Hainu, Bechinas Mama Sosim, Nimsa, Shigam Pishti Mikabel Chias Mbechinas Tzemer, Shu Bechinas Mama Sosim. Tzemer is so high, Rab Nassim is telling, teaching us over here that it's connected to the highest place, where it's Mama is connected to the Rabbeinu Shalom intricately. This idea of the Tzemer, the Aye. Right, like we said, bara is beracious tayish. Bara tayish, beracious. The word beracious, you can flip around the 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 the, 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 the yud and the, the shin and the taf, and you can you make it tayish and say the seh. Unbelievable. Val kein nasa mayem gam kein sitzes. You can make from the pishtan sitzes bechinas mama sastam. Is it saying that the, the, yeah. the even the pishtan yeah. at its lowest point has a spark? It has holiness. Well, the because, no, because it's, because it's connected with the tzemer. The tzemer is the highest. Pishtan is the lowest. It's really the one. It's really one. High and low is really <laughs> one. It's all the Rabbi Nishalem. That's what tzitzis, that's what it can do. So that's why normally you can't take wool and, and linen and pishtan together and put it together because they're, they're two opposing, they're two opposing forces. So they every all the all the forces in the world, anything, forces of holiness, of course, and the forces of of unholiness, the klipas, they are all getting their chias from the rabbinish sulaylam, which is an aspect of tzemer. Im kolze ikke kabbalasam hu min astara alama, but they get their kabbalah. They get it from the hidden, hidden, hidden. You don't, you don't see it. You don't see where it's coming from. It's from that high place. Shekedusha l'nam es v'nesteres sham bechinas ma'amas sasim. That's the ma'amas sasim. That's where it came from. That's where it's getting its chiyas from. Abel also legalay shekedusha sham shalayli tein lahem yenika yaisem midai chas v'shalom. But you don't want to give them. Too much credence. You don't want to give too much credence to the impurity because then, then they're going to, you know, they say if you give a finger, they take the hand. You know the expression? Yeah. You give them a finger, they take the hand. So I have to be very careful what I give them. I don't want them to take too much. That's why I don't take the tzema and I put it together with the pishtim. Pishtim, yes, it does get itself its chiyas from the tzemer, but I don't want to let the pishtim know that. <laughs> I heard the same idea of the yeah. hagra that is said about the country of Israel, that the reason that it goes uh, in the secular way is because it's like Ola, because it will be clear that as Malchut Hashem is going to appear, there would be two, it, it doesn't, it, it won't work. It won't so work. You have yeah. to have Ola, and then the next step, it would appear that we do the Brit yeah, Mila, the, and then we get rid of the 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 the, the Arla, yeah. and then we're all set. Yeah, we're waiting any day now. Yeah. <laughs> any waiting, day now. Just waiting. Yeah, any day now. Any day. 
Avel betzitzis mutter kalayim. Oh, but when it comes to tzitzis, now you're allowed to put the two together. Ki other rabba ayadei tzitzis nechnayim achitzayim. See, normally you can't have the the the, the pishtim together with the tzemer, the two opposing forces, because we don't want to give too much. Say, well, you know, the the pishtim is so holy. You really, you're really very holy. We don't want to do that because we don't want to give it too much because then it's going to take too much kedusha. It'll rob more kedusha. But when it comes to tzitzis, I can put them two together. I, I can join them together. Because tzitzis can be nechnoim achitzaydim, it can help subdue the chitzaydim, and it's gali kedusha, she gamba achitzaydim, ayachiyas kavoyam yoy. You know, is this is the idea, let's say, like the, like the, the, the chazer, you know, he likes to stick out his foot and say, look, you see, I'm kosher. Right? They, 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 that's the, the idea that we're saying that Esav would always go around to, to Yitzchak and ask, tell him that, hey, how do I take Misa from my tevin and how I take Misa from my soul? It's the same idea. They're trying to take more. They want more. They want more. They, they're trying to take more. But when it comes to tzitzis, you call them out. It, it's, he's, they're called out. You realize it's really the Rabbi Nisraelim and you're really nothing. You are really nothing. You are nothing. You, are, you, you, you think that you're something, all you have, it's all coming from the Rabbi Nishlam. Tzitzis can help me do that. It has the idea of zikaron. Tzitzis has that idea of remember, I can make me remember what, is, what really counts. I can combine. I can mend together. I can weave together tzemer upishtim. Ki shneim echad shechiyusam bebechinas because really they get their chiyas from the Maim Sasim, whether it's the Tzemer or the Pishtim, it's really coming from the same thing. But again, you have to be very careful how to do that. So Tzitzis can help me remember what the real thing is. True Bechina Tzitzis. Rak Shaloi B'Maka Mitzvah Tzitzis, but if it's not with Maka of Tzitzis, Sha'oz Ein Hakna Asam V'yesh Lam Shlita Adayin. Ah, but without Tzitzis, I don't have the Zikara, I don't have this remembering so then they get too much of a sleep that they take too much. They would think the, 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 the pishtim can take too much. Does it make any sense? Does anybody have any questions on this concept? Um, concept is fine. I'm just not clear about the Maim ma- 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 Oh, because he didn't come to the other classes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll, I'll fill you in. Okay. Okay. So, so, so the Maim ma- uh, Sasa is like this. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he, he, he created... He created, he, he had to, he said Bereshis, right? Bereshis, bar, Bereshis. But really, HaKadosh Baruch Hu could have had all creation done with just Bereshis. With, with just that word. He could have had everything all done. But Hashem said, he made 10 utterances. In the Torah, we have letters, right? There's, what, there's black letters and then the spaces, right? So whatever it is, letters, we know these are the words, and those are the words, and those are the letters. So that's it. It was said, it was written, and that's it. But the white part is sasa. Who knows what is there? This on the white part of the parchment, right? This, this, I don't know what, it could be anything. That's sasa. A Kodesh Baruch who is, has so much that he didn't, was not Megalatas. There's so much Hashem did not reveal to us. He keeps to himself. From that place, HaKadosh Baruch Hu uses that to give the, the kayach to everything of the world. From that place of sasa. <laughs> he doesn't do it with, because he said that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't give his covet to all these places of impurity. Only places of, of, of Kedusha. But, but it still needs, it still needs, it still needs sustenance. It still needs to restay existence. So that's the Maim Asasim. Hashem gives it to him, but you don't see it. You don't see it. It's hidden. And when I see it, it's covered. But when, when I, you know, when, when I can reveal, and I know I'm in that place, and I call out, Aye, Mikhaim Tuvaydai. Then I can come back, I can be returned back to the highest place and I can be machni, I can subdue these things of impurity because I, I call it out and I say, no, you're getting your existence only from Hashem. Does that make you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable idea. And that's why the seh, the whole idea was saying the seh, you see in the word of Bereshis, the Zaya, the, the Dikune Zaya tells us is bara Taish. Take the words, flip them around, and then you have the says over there. That's part also the Maimasasa. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So Tzitzis has this idea. You want to say something, though? No, I was just thinking, thinking of a mashal. Yeah, please, so this. please. I don't have it fully developed, but I was just thinking in my mind that, like... So let's see, develop like, it. See, like a king, right? Or like in, in modern day, some kind of, you know, a big businessman uh, who's a very powerful person. He's got a son. And the son, he goes his way and he becomes a drug addict and he becomes a mess, right? <laughs> like a real drug addict and he leaves the home. So the father, the father wants to keep him alive, wants to make sure he's something. So he finds ways to, you know, he find, sends on someone, he gives him a few dollars, he, 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 gives, he finds someone to give him a little job, and he gets him little bits of money so that he can, so he can sustain himself. He can't give him tons of money because what will he do? And by more drugs, he'll, he'll learn enough, him. Right? So, so he wants to just give him a stream of sustenance. He gives him right? something, he shows him love. So, but he can't and show he gives... where it's from either. But it is a little something. He wants his son to live, right? It's only if the son recognizes, you know, I have a problem and, and, and there's something bigger than me. And there's my father, my family. Can you return back and, and come back to the home? You know, then he can enjoy from the wealth of the family and wealth of the That's home. That's what Tzitzis is. So the father is the tzemer. The father is the tzemer. He's the pishtin. But when you have the tzitzis together, that techelas, no, the techelas can can, can bring them together. Right, but can bring those two worlds together. It has to give it life, but it has to be separate. Can't have the shotness. Can't have this. Only when there's a much bigger picture from the two. When there's a bigger picture, that that you need, you need that, you need that, you need that, that that factor to join the two together, that to insulate them, to keep them safe. Right, but otherwise they gotta stay. So, so, so to say, we could say that the chelus is somewhat, the chelus is some kind of an insulator. Right, it keeps the two. It can be together. But they're insulated. Or even with the tchelis, they could fuse. Look, we can, we can use wires. We can use the idea of electricity the best way. You can have, you can have two wires together, right? But if there's no insulation on the wires and you put them together, I think, right? <laughs> right? They'll, 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 they'll explode, right? right. But, but if you put you insulation, you wrap them together with the, the, the tchelis, then they, then they could be in existence. Mm. Okay? which is like tachlis, right? Tachlis. So and and, and that's, the, that's, that's, yes. The yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how do you do it? Because you close your eye, you, you, you focus, just right? Okay, what? Okay, let's just finish up. Okay, kizeh bechines aye, yeh sasem v'nelam v'nista v'bechines pishtim shemisham yinikas chitzon. Aba b'mokem mitzvah tzitzis. Ah, but when you have the mokem of tzitzis, shaz nechnoyim achitzonim, then I could put them down. I could subdue the chitzonim as I chayza pishtim imat semer. Then the pishtim can come back together with the semer because really they're connected. On high, they're connected. In this world, they're different, but really up on high, they're connected. And now they can be bound together. They can be joined together. Because really the two of them are one aspect. They're not two separate aspects. Up on high. In this world, they are two separate things. But when I could put them together for the for the mitzvah of tzitzis, and tzitzis is connected to Elyon, the Ma'am of Elyon, there the two can be together because that's where they are connected up on high. Okay? Beautiful. Shkoyach, everyone. Have a good Shabbos. Cold to everybody.